The second day of families collecting bodies of their beloved ones and a somber mood still engulfs the Chiromo mortuary as families struggle to face the reality of organizing a decent burial for their loved ones. Although several families have already collected their kin's remains after positive identification, some, like Jen Rose Opondo, have failed to collect the body of her son for burial in Kitale, blaming it on logistical challenges at the mortuary. Tumekuja kuchukua, tuliandikisha jana, wakasema wanyo wanachukua leo, andikisha jana. Ya tuliandikisha jana, kusema tukikuja tutapata miliko tiari kwa, kwa jeneza. Nyi ni kuchukua burial permit na munaenda. Tumefika, kuchukua burial permit, wanatuambia jeneza imeisha. Mekaa kidogo nyeneza zika kuja. Asa kurudi huko tena. Kwa kilia renzo wanatuambia sasa tena magari ndi haziko. Ati walipeana gari 30 na zimeisha. Sasa tuongeje, tujui tutaenda leo ama tutaenda kesho. But even in this time of distress, the family had some fond memories of their beloved son. Alikuwa mtu socialize. Alikuwa alikuwa food yes, lakini pia alikuwa nafraisha sa zingine. Mie ndakuwa na miss upande wa food pia alikuwa romantic. Later in the afternoon, religious leaders from the mainstream Christian churches, together with their colleagues from the evangelical ministries, joined the families in prayers at the Chiromo Mochri. The systematic profiling, isolation and massacre of Christians in different parts of Kenya must stop. The use of derogatory language when referring to other religions is wrong and must be stopped. We must learn to tolerate each other regardless of religious affiliation and religion, region of origin. It is well, it is well. Across town are the Christ is the Answer Ministries, a memorial service for the victim was held where two survivors who are members of the Garissa University College Christian Union shared the ordeal. Because we are standing in a cycle, the guy was shooting a tantrum as he moves in a cycle. So because he was here and I was here, I was seeing everything that was happening in the room. They cheated ladies and told them, we don't kill ladies, we just deal with men. So kindly come out and run because we want to rescue before we do away with the men around. Our ladies, all of them, they surrendered so that their lives could be at safer hands. But only did they understand that it was done. The process of body identification is ongoing even as several cases of missing bodies are still being reported. At least 148 people died in the Al-Shabaab perpetrated terror attack last Thursday, one of the deadliest in the country in recent times. Reporting for Channel 1 News Hour, I'm Ron Cliff, Odeed.